In this video, I want to show you how to do a comprehensive CMA report using Cloud CMA. First, you conduct your search on Paragon. Make sure the search is similar to your subject property. Put in all of your criteria to locate your comparable. After inserting your criteria, click search And now you have your comparables. Now I can select which properties I would like to use as comparables. For this example, I'm going to select all of them. Once you select your comparables, you go here where it says actions, select cloud CMA CMA, and now it will lead you to cloud CMA to create a CMA report. We first want to name the report. I'm going to name this report Captain America. The notes do not appear in the report. However, I can always add as much notes as I want. For this example, I am just going to write, these are my notes. And now you're going to put in the subject property address. After you type in your subject property address, Cloud CMA will automatically fill in the tax information for you. As you can see, my square foot, beds, and bath were automatically placed in because Cloud CMA placed it in there for me, which is great. Also, right here in this gray box where it says add cover photo, you can add a picture of the subject property here to show your clients. If you do not have a photo, that is totally okay. Cloud CMA will generate a photo for you from Google Maps and it will generate an aerial view of the property, which I will show you later on in this presentation. Once you're satisfied, you can click the green button on the upper right hand corner that says fetch listings. Cloud CMA is making me finish this CMA report in four steps. We just finished the criteria. Now we are going to edit the desired listings to be my comparables. After that, we will customize our report and then we will publish. I will show you what the final CMA looks like in the end. We are in listings right now, the listings tab. The purple is the subject property, the reds, are all properties that were sold. The yellows are properties that are pending. And the greens are all active properties that are my comparables. If you see right below that, they will show you a quick summary of the listings right here. And if you see right here on, this, on the left where it says subject property, you can insert a set price based on the value you think this property is worth, or you can click on this price guide and net sheet. This will show you the price guide for your comparables that you selected. This is the lows, medians, average, and the highs, the average per square foot, and then the suggested range. These are all the prices combined together on the top. These are all active. And these are all sold. Let's say I chose this to be my suggested range and it will put that price up there for me. Now if I scroll down just a little, there is a part that says net sheet and there is a blank line right here. So let's say I wanna put in an expense to see how much the seller can actually make. Let's say the seller needs a paint job and it costs, let's say it costs $5,000.
And as you can see, the price changes. Let's say the seller needs to replace the roof. Click Save, and it will change the value on the bottom. I can keep adding more expenses as I go, but you can stop at any time. And as I'm scrolling down, I can see all of the, these comparables that I chose on Paragon. I can choose to keep them by keeping these green check marks on there. Or if I decide that this property is no longer suitable to be a comparable for me, I can click on this green button. The, sub, the property will gray out and it will no longer be part of my summary of prices. Let's say I want it back. I can just click on this green and this white button to make it green again. And the property will come back and it will affect the summary of prices again. Let's say I think there are too many um, comparables. I can deselect as many as I like. Let's say I want more comparables and I'm I am already at this step. I can click this button to select add a listing and I can enter the MLS number from Paragon or I can enter the address. Once you're satisfied reselecting your comparables and looking for suggested range, you can scroll up and click customize report. Now we are in the customized section of building a cloud CMA report. Let me scroll down just a bit. So this area right here, this is your options to edit your CMA. Here, this is theme. So I can select how I want my cloud CMA report to look like. If I want modern green and teal, the colors will be modern gray and teal. And here is a preview of how I want my CMA report to look like. I can click on this down arrow and I can choose what color I would like to use. Maybe I want to go for modern purple. I can select that and as a preview I can see that my report is now purple. I can choose theme. It is applying my theme. And now I can choose layout. Right now it is at three column comparison. But if I click here, I can choose what type of layout that I would like to use. I can choose a photo with map two photos, photo with max data, two column comparison. So here's one property and then here's another. Three column comparison, which means one property, another, and a third. And four column comparison, which is one property, another, another, and another. I'm going to select four column comparison. I can also change the font. So if I click here, I can choose what type of font I would like to use. Let's go with Roboto. Okay, I'm going to scroll down just a bit. If you see here on my left hand side, those, and I click on these little green arrows, Everything on my left hand corner are options that I can put into my CMA report. Everything on my right hand corner is an outline of my CMA report. So right now my outline looks pretty long. Let's say my client doesn't want to look at a CMA report that is 
this long. So if I want to remove some pages, I can click on the left hand side of what I would like to remove and it will go away from my outline and it will go towards my options that are available which is right here so I'm going to remove a couple of these so let's say I want to remove a couple of these and let's say my report is a little too short now I want to add more than just the first dozen of one page so I can scroll back up under listings I'm going to press on this green plus button and as you can see it moved over to my right hand side and let's say I want to change the order let's say I don't want the contact me in the middle of my CMA report so I can just click in the middle of the page and I can drag it to wherever I want it to be now I am satisfied with my CMA report I can click on publish report on the upper right hand corner and now my CMA report is publishing you can click on view PDF and here's my CMA report it has my purple theme that I wanted the font that I selected and remember I did not select a photo so it automatically gave me an aerial view of the subject property my contact information is on the bottom and it has built in my comparables. Let's say your client is on page seven and they don't want to scroll up to see your contact me information. Your contact information is on the bottom of every single page. So if they want to get in touch with you, they can. You can download this report on the upper right hand corner and you can send it to your client you can also print it and if you go back to your cloud CMA if you see right here that says play slideshow after you clicked on view slideshow it will now lead you to an interactive slideshow format, which is best to use on a touch screen, such as iPads, tablets, or even mobile devices. If you see on the bottom right hand corner, it will lead you to a jumping little arrow that tells you what page to go to, which is my contact name, comparable houses. If you notice the little arrow is jumping down, I can see even more information about this subject property. If you click on these three little dots, you can copy the PDF link easily, copy the slideshow link easily, or even just email the report straight from Cloud CMA. If you want to edit your CMA presentation, you can click on edit on the lower right hand corner of this box and it will lead you back to your four steps. And now you know how to make a CMA presentation using Cloud CMA.